This introduction outlines a program that can help us heal our stress injuries by following the instructions in free self-help trauma therapy videos. The videos are accessed from emotionaltuning.com by 60 to 70,000 anonymous visitors a year. Since 2007, after retiring as a psychotherapist, Frank Pasquale has provided these videos free of charge in honor and memory of his father, Frank Pasquale Sr. During World War II, Frank Sr. served as a lieutenant in the Queen's own Cameron Highlanders of Canada and died after the war on August the 19th, 1952, at age 32. Exactly 10 years earlier, during the morning of August the 19th, 1942, he was among the 5,000 Canadian troops raiding the huge fortifications that Germany had built around Dieppe, France. Of the young men who went ashore that day with Frank Sr., 60% were either killed, wounded, or captured by German forces. At that time, Frank Sr. was lucky enough to escape with his life, but not without the traumatic memories which killed him 10 years later during a PTSD flashback. The negative effects of trauma may include the avoidance of memory triggers, amnesia, intrusive thoughts, distressing dreams, flashbacks, irritability, and a reduced ability to concentrate, experience pleasure, feel tender emotions, and imagine a positive future. These effects can become chronic after exposure to frequent, intense traumatic events, such as work combat. Soldiers face considerable risk of developing these chronic effects, which clinicians call post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. The greater the number of firefights a soldier encounters, the greater the incidence of PTSD. Traumatized soldiers are also at risk of major depression, substance abuse, impairment in social functioning, and the inability to work. Avoidance of traumatic memory triggers is one of the main symptoms of PTSD. This avoidance is what often makes trauma survivors hesitate to become involved in either talk therapy or support groups where discussion of painful memories is expected. Soldiers returning from war suffering the effects of trauma are about half as likely to seek treatment as those returning without such symptoms. If they continue to avoid treatment, they can become reclusive, confining themselves to a few rooms in their home where they can hope nothing will trigger their traumatic memories. This paradoxical effect of trauma is the major reason why we created this series of practical self-help videos. The videos can be downloaded from the internet and the techniques practiced in the privacy of the trauma survivor's own home. The videos should be used in the same order as they are numbered and each technique should be mastered before moving on to the next video. If at this stage you are more interested in theory than practice, we recommend you visit our website so you can read about the research and beliefs that went into the creation of these videos. Otherwise, we encourage you to immediately follow along with what is being demonstrated in the videos rather than passively reviewing them at first. We believe our emotional systems are much like musical instruments in that they are difficult to tune at the same time they are being played. Consequently, in video one entitled Calming Breath, we outline a simple procedure for gaining the quiet, relaxed perspective needed to tune into our feelings and tune up our emotional instruments. When a person endures frequent intense traumatic events, it is as if their emotional instrument becomes tuned to the key of F, continually resonating with the fight, flight, and freeze reactions we associate with the emotion of fear. We suggest that such people need to tune into the key of C, the calm, clear, contented and caring tones that we can associate with compassion. Musical instruments like the piano can be tuned by tapping the strings until they resonate with others vibrating at the same frequency. Professional choirs often call upon someone with perfect pitch to hum the signature key of the composition they are about to sing. We recommend the humming of a simple, rhythmic, unique tune 
in the key of C major to help extend the length of our exhalations. Slow, deep exhalations slow down the heart rate and improve digestion. This opposes our usual response to real or imagined threats when our hearts race, our guts churn, and our breathing becomes rapid and shallow. The arm movements demonstrated in video one help to completely exhaust stale air from the lungs, increase the supply of oxygen, and decrease feelings of anxiety. While inhaling deeply and exhaling slowly, in time with the tune being hummed, we recommend you imagine a particular hummingbird. This one has an unusual whistle and is feeding on a blue rather than red flower. So in the first video, our intention is to help trauma survivors develop an unfamiliar emotional anchor. This physically relaxed state of being results from deep extended exhalations and is associated with several unfamiliar sights, sounds, arm movements, humming and tapping gestures. By engaging in this benign, multi-sensory anchor, people can relax themselves quickly before attempting to dissolve the disturbing feelings associated with traumatic memories. Since the qualities of this anchor will be unfamiliar to most people, it is unlikely to be associated in any way to their traumatic memories. In video two, entitled Emotional Meridians, we outline a number of spots on the head and torso that correspond to important acupuncture points in traditional Chinese medicine. These spots have a particularly high concentration of receptors that respond to stimulation on the surface of our skin. Signals from this skin receptor can disrupt the brain's established associations between traumatic memories, thoughts, and feelings. We recommend stimulating nine specific spots on the head and torso in a particular sequence only because it is easier to remember to start from the top of the head and move down the body. You can think of this as running your fingers down your emotional keyboard. An alternate way to explain emotional tuning is to consider the function of the brain's hypothalamus. This is a small part of the brain located about three inches behind the place where your eyebrows meet. Its function is to prepare various combinations of neuropeptides or neurotransmitters that we experience as different emotional states such as fear, anger, grief, despair, confusion, shame, disgust, and craving. Unfortunately, the hypothalamus cannot distinguish between actual and imagined threats, which explains why it can create anxiety when no real danger exists. However, by consciously decreasing our breath rate, we can get it to reduce our heart rate and improve digestion and, in this peaceful state of mind, people can tune into normally disturbing memories without the usual emotional response. In video three, entitled Bilateral Brain Stimulation, we show how emotional meridians can be stimulated bilaterally, alternating the left and right sides of our body. In this way, we believe that the limbic system of our brain, which is mainly responsible for our emotions, can be tuned on both sides at the same time. Bilateral stimulation of the brain is achieved by consciously switching our attention back and forth from right to left sides of the body. Attending to these bilateral sensations of touch, sight, sound and motion, while recalling a traumatic event, seems to shift upsetting emotions that have been stored in the right side of the brain into the left, where they are processed differently. In video four, entitled Humming Affirmations, we suggest adding certain lyrics to the tune we have been humming in the previous three videos. This provides us with a self-affirming song that we can silently sing while tuning our emotional instrument. This helps overcome the negative attitudes we sometimes develop about ourselves whenever suffering the effects of trauma. Common refrains like, having intrusive thoughts must mean I am weak, need to be tuned out and replaced by more accepting thoughts about ourselves. Tuning into traumatic memories while humming a self-fulfilling song helps people notice the effects of trauma upon their sense of self. They can begin to understand the trauma as an unfortunate, specific event 
in a sometimes dangerous world rather than a general condition of life and a negative reflection of their fundamental identity. Video 5, Humming Your Healing Touch, shows how to pull everything together into four-part harmony, which people can practice in the safety and privacy of their own home. The video provides an efficient sequence of self-healing steps for calming oneself, tuning into feelings, tapping emotional meridians bilaterally, and humming self-affirmations while recalling moderately disturbing memories. During each emotional tuning practice, the video provides the viewer with a dissociative technique that allows them to approach their traumatic memories in slow motion so they are not overwhelmed with disturbing feelings. The video's humming sounds alternate from right to left audio channels, enhancing the bilateral brain stimulation being created through our touch, motion, and sight. Video 5.1, entitled Healing Our 9-11 Traumas, was designed to help traumatized emergency responders, such as police, firefighters, paramedics, call center personnel, and on-the-scene news reporters. However, the same protocols can help victims of other traumas, such as natural disasters, domestic violence, sexual assault, and childhood abuse. In video 5.1, we start by reviewing video 1 protocols for relaxing ourselves with peaceful images. In step 2, we learn how to distance ourselves from traumatic memories and modulate our anxiety by building on video 5 healing protocols. In step three, we learn how to reprocess traumatic memories by practicing with peaceful images. In step four, we learn how to reprocess traumatic memories by practicing with familiar traumatic images. After practicing with familiar traumatic images, we can apply the technique in step five, the reprocessing of our own traumatic memories. In step six, we are refining our traumatic memories, integrating emotions other than fear which is our basic response to stressful experiences. In step seven, we are assessing our progress towards a peaceful resolution of our emergency response problems and remediating as required. Video 5.2, entitled Shaking PTSD with Laughter, demonstrates how the previous video 5.1 was used in a group workshop setting in San Miguel de Allende, Mexico in March 2016. The feedback from this particular gathering was used to improve the pace of instruction in a subsequent update to the video so that participants could more easily approach their stressful memories without fear of re-traumatization. After practicing the protocols in video 5.1, the group was introduced to the most simple and fast-acting of all emotional tuning protocols, Pascal's Laughter Shake. After the demonstration, the group talked about the Laughter Shake protocol detailed with six steps in section 5.2 of our website. To develop the skills necessary to perform these steps, participants were advised to follow the self-help instructions in videos 6 and 7. As demonstrated in video 6, practicing progressive relaxation and then shaking tension out of our psoas muscles can help us to access and resolve traumatic memories. As demonstrated in video 7, learning to laugh intentionally increases our natural pain-killing endorphins and our capacity to replace fear with joy when recalling traumatic memories. Since each emotional tuning program builds upon the former, the higher numbered videos are more advanced, complex, and challenging. Consequently, to optimize our healing, we practice the simplest protocols first and become proficient before proceeding to the next in the series. Please forward this introduction to anyone you think might benefit from these free self-help videos.